This is the B25 Mitchell. Uh, uh, James Doolittle led a raid on Tokyo uh, just before the Battle of Midway. For those of you that have seen the, the, the remake of Midway, uh, I got a little backstory to this. So, uh, the, uh, the, the intel that they got on Tokyo came from a man named Mo Berg. Now, Mo Berg was a CIA asset before there was a CIA. He worked for the OSS. And uh, he, w he was a middling uh, catcher in Major League Baseball. You can look him up. He played on, he played for about 10 years. He couldn't hit very good, but he could speak six languages. One of the ones he was fluid in was Japanese. So he got put on an all-star team, sent to Japan a couple of years before the war broke out. And they, uh, they uh, really took care of him because he could Lieutenant speak Japanese. Colonel, so they took him to the top of the highest building in Japan. And there's actually a picture of him taking film of Japan. So he did a panoramic shot of Tokyo. And that film was used to identify targets for the Doolittle Raid. Now another thing about Mo Berg. Mo Berg was involved in another false flag that, and this one didn't take. Uh, he, he assembled the team that shot down the Hindenburg. They brought it down with an incendiary round and he admitted it to uh, a man who was uh, a sports writer a week before it happened. And uh, the, the, the man told people, but I mean the, the news was even more concentrated then than it is now. And incendiary rounds were developed in World War I by the British to take down dirigibles. So, a lot of people don't know this, but the uh, Hindenburg made when they reached Tokyo uh, and the scores of successful flights. I believe it was 50 flights without any incidents. So, check out Moberg. Uh, after the CIA formed, he wanted to become an agent in Israel. But uh, they uh, they turned him down. But anyway, he was the most educated uh, baseball player of all time. Look up his baseball stats. He was middling at best. I mean, he's a good catcher, but he, he didn't have a stick. But he was kept on these teams simply because he was, it was the perfect cover for a spy. He could go around and do stuff around the country. And uh, he was active till the late 50s. But check out Moberg, and there's been books on him. But uh, the the footage he shot on top of that, uh, the largest spot in Tokyo they took him to is what they used to identify targets in Tokyo for James Doodle and, and the highly successful raid that he did. Thank you. I'm out.